All right, the next test case. So let's duplicate this last test. We want to return 400 if return is already processed. So if return is already processed. Now, to simulate this test case, we want to get this rental object, set the return date, that is date returned. We set this to the current date time and save it. And of course, we need to await this. Next, we send a request and assert that we get a 400 error. Save back in the terminal, one failing test. And here's the reason. So we got a 401, so far so good. So back in our route handler, what is the simplest code that we can write? to make this test pass. Well, if we pass this point, that means we do have a rental object. So now we need to check if rental dot date returned is set, we're gonna return response with status 400 with a message like return already processed. Simple as that. Save back in the terminal. All tests are passing. So you see TDD is really not complicated if you follow the best practices I've taught you so far. So clean tests, we have only three, four lines of code. I showed you my own refactoring technique. So in each test, we change one parameter that simulates one test case. And that perfectly aligns with what we have in the test name. So we take a step-by-step -step approach write one test at a time, make the test pass, and move on to the next test. So here's your next exercise. I want you to implement this test case. Return 200 if we get a valid request. 